In this Python tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to format information to the screen and also look at some mathematical uh, operators. The first thing I'm going to show is a tab. So here is a tab. So that would just be outputted to the screen, but if I go backslash T, then it will actually leave a tab right in there. So about five or six spaces. And if I run this, here is a tab. That's good for formatting information. If you have a whole bunch of data and you're formatting it into a table, then you can use tabs for that. We'll also go. Um, here is a new line, and that is backslash n. All right, there it is. So if I run this, uh, here is a new line, and that drops down to the next line. So backslash t would be a tab, and backslash n would be a new line. I'm also going to center some words. So let's say we have a title of something right there. We go dot center and we put 40. So what this will do is it'll use 40 spaces and it will center the word title in those 40 spaces. So if I run it, then we have the word title centered within about 40 spaces. So we'll be about that wide. So that looks nice if we have receipts or something like that. We can also make the blank spaces not be blank. So if you add that little part in there, then this will add little dashes and all those blank spaces. So it says title. It kind of looks nice. Uh, we can also left justify this instead of centering it. So we just go L just. And I'll copy this and show you the difference. We'll do right justified as well on two different lines. So there you've got left justified and then right justified. So you can use that to make receipts look a little bit nicer, or just have your screen output look a little bit nicer. I'm going to show you now some mathematical operators. So let's say we have things like this 7 plus 2. 7 minus 2, 7 times 2. We can even do the uh, the exponents. So two asterisks would be 7 to the exponent 2, like 7 times 7. So if we run this program, we get 7 plus 2 is 9, 7 minus 2 is 5, 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 to the exponent 2. So 7 times 7 would be 49. Now I didn't do division because division is a little different. So there's a few different divisions that we can do. First one I'll show you is uh, with decimals. 7.0 divided by 2.0. The next one will be, let's just go 7, and we'll use two forward slashes. And then we can also do 7 modulus 2. So what will the results all look like? I'll show you here as we run this. So 7 divided by 2 with decimals and 1 forward slash, that just results in the decimal number. So 7 divided by 2 straight up is 3.5 with decimals. This uh, the second one with two forward slashes actually floors the result. What that means is it gets rid of any decimals and it floors it to the bottom. So 7 divided by 2, 2 goes into 7 three times. And it just gets rid of any decimals. And then finally, the modulus division. This will keep track of remainders. So seven goes or two goes into seven three times. Three times two is six. So that means there's a remainder of one. And these will be useful as we do um, well the modulus by two as we do even and odd numbers. But also as we try to figure out some other problems, um, these different divisions will be will be very useful. So those are that's a little bit about formatting to the screen and some divisions and multipliers and things like that.